Please select a landing zone. Heading to Mother Base. Remember Professor Galvez on his instrument during Peace Day? Ooh -wee -ooh. <laughs> Such a funny sound for a musical instrument. He said the Soviets invented it. Everyone sure seemed impressed. Music has no borders. The professor taught me that. Where is Professor Galvez anyway? <sighs> I am so tired. I will just lie here a while. Marker placed. Marker placed. Where is she? Well, you mean quiet? In her cell, of course. Why did you send her out with the boss on that mission? She proved herself well enough, didn't she? The boss sure knows talent when he sees it. That woman will never be one of us. She's targeting him. Don't forget, we do owe her one. What's that supposed to mean? Remember what happened when she first got here? She shot down the aircraft Cypher sent after us. Not only that, she hit the cockpit. Who else could have done that? We're talking about a fighter jet traveling at Mach speed. What's your point? If she hadn't been there, the boss's chopper would be at the bottom of the ocean right now. Or it would have been followed right back to Mother Base. So let's say she does have some elaborate scheme in the works. If you want to catch her in the act, all we can do is sit back and wait. On the other hand, if she swears allegiance to the boss like our other Fulton recruits, he couldn't ask for a better partner. Oh, she's got you fooled. I have eyes on her. If she tries anything, she'll regret it. We lose nothing either way.
have the report on that cargo we stole from Cypher's truck. The PF was transporting two things. The analysis of that malachite has come back first. Naturally, the main compound is copper. There's also a small amount of cobalt. Nothing unusual so far. Southern Zaire is a well-known copper belt. However, in addition to these, we also detected a trace amount of uranium. The content percentage, though, is too low for nuclear development. It most likely came from Shinkalobwe mine. That's where the uranium in that area comes from. The mine's closed, as all the high-purity uranium ore dried up a long time ago. But you could probably still find it there in small quantities. That said, there are plenty of other uranium mines that are in operation, like in Niger, Namibia, South Africa. Why go to an abandoned mine to scrape up whatever's left and ship it out in mass quantities without refining it? They were transporting that yellow cake, too, which would suggest they have the technology to refine uranium. Anyway, that about sums it up. Unfortunately, the analysis of that yellow cake is taking a little longer. I'll let you know when it's done. Zero risk security aren't as hardcore a military outfit compared to the other two PFs in this region. The company sends operators to conflict regions around the world, not just Africa. They have decades of combined experience. They're also based out of South Africa. Their headquarters is in Johannesburg. A lot of their work involves corporate security for South African companies, but a good number of their operators are retired South African military. So don't mistake them for a bunch of security guards. going to be a kind of festival held on Mother Base. They are calling it Peace Day. Snake and his men may be without a nation, but they are still an army, and that means sometimes they have to fight the bad guys. Of course, they should not fight at all. It is obvious to me that any problem can be solved with reasonable discussion. Maybe Snake and the others think so too, because the idea is to set aside war for one day a year and relax in peace. I do not know how it came about, but apparently Snake and Miller got the idea while they were talking. And everyone on Mother Base went along with it. To think that deep down they all share a love of peace, that makes me happy. But never mind that. Somehow I have ended up singing on stage. Miller was all, come on, both our names mean peace. It will be great. Why does that mean we have to be in a band? Then he roped Professor Galvez in too, saying, Hey, Galvez comes from peace too. We are the perfect act. I am not sure Miller really understands the origins of the name Galvez. But then again, you always have to take Miller's talk with a grain of salt. What I cannot believe is, he went and told everyone we'd be performing together without even asking my opinion. Now everyone thinks it has all been decided. I like to sing. But I have never had to perform in front of a crowd. I do not think I'm up to this. But everyone seems to be looking forward to it. I guess I would hate to let them down. 
And anything is better than letting Miller sing. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Miller said he was going to write a song for us. I wonder what it will be like. It's funny. The more nervous I get, the more I find myself looking forward to it. Please landing zone. Roger. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Please specify a project.